Um, time dilation and the twin paradox. We've all seen this before. It's the bit about time dilates when you're traveling at space in space close to the speed of light. You know, in this in this case, uh, Professor Dave is uh, explains is saying that. Um, that uh let's let's just play this a little bit on the spaceship there is a device that emits a light pulse which hits a mirror and bounces back to a detector that sits right by the device each observer has a clock and we pretend that the observer on earth can see what's going on in the spaceship for the astronaut it's easy to tell how long it takes for the light to make the trip if speed is distance over time, then time is distance over speed. So it's just twice the distance between the device and the mirror to get there and back, divided by the speed of light, or 2d over c. Let's call this time interval delta t zero. For the person on Earth, it's a little different because the spaceship is moving relative to Earth. And therefore, the light pulse has a horizontal component of motion in addition to the vertical one. Okay, so uh, here, the spaceship is traveling perpendicular to the man on Earth. It's, it's a right angle between him all the way up to the elevation where the spaceship is. And then it's, it's uh, a right angle between his line of sight and the spaceship's path. And um, I would argue that the man on Earth, moving at constant velocity in the opposite direction of the spaceship could also have a light clock with the same distance d between uh, the detector and the mirror and so the converse is true for the spaceman traveling in a perpendicular path uh, he, he looks at the earthling going in the opposite direction at constant velocity and his light clock would have the, the same length of path up and down, horizontal and vertical. And uh, his clock should be slower than the spaceman's clock. So uh, I don't think the twin paradox works in a perpendicular path. The light follows this diagonal path up to the mirror and back, which is much longer than the other path. If this horizontal distance is L, then we use the Pythagorean theorem to get S, which is root D squared plus L squared. So twice this term will be the distance traveled by the light pulse according to the observer on Earth. But the speed of light is always the same. So if the light... Whose clock needs to be slower? The Earthman's, which, which takes the opposite direction path, or the Spaceman's, which takes the same length of path from his perspective uh, on the other side earthling versus spaceship they both have the, a converse path and the same same thing they each each have their own clock each clock from the other's perspective is running slower i don't get it it might it might work it might work if the spaceman was traveling away or toward the earthling but that's not what's illustrated here. And I think it's misleading. 